Look what they did to Stella's catnip plant. Oh my gosh. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. Today is Mother's Day, and Stella gets her bouquet of catnip. It's a tradition that every year Stella gets some fresh catnip on Mother's Day. She gets her own bouquet of catnip. This year they did not have any catnip at the local nurseries or plant stores. I don't know why. So I had to get this at PetSmart. Thankfully they had it. Stella is usually very possessive of the catnip. I don't know what happened when I left the room. Who just showed up? I just rubbed the leaves because sometimes you have to rub it 
to get the aroma going. Oh, now she's interested. Okay, let's rub it. Let's rub all the leaves. Let's rub all the leaves. Rub all the leaves. Okay, so we rub the leaves. Oh, <laughs> she's like, don't touch it. <laughs> it's a trap. You don't like this kind much. The kind I usually get has a little bit larger leaves than this. Like I have a bunch of catnip growing outside, but it's not really ready yet. It's still a little bit too small to harvest. Okay, that was good, Stella. I'm gonna share this with Boo. Is that okay? Can I share this with Boo? Boo, would you like this? Stella's not too happy about that. Stella, they could have one one leaf each, okay? Here, I'll give a leaf to Splash. There you go, Splash. And I'll give a leaf to Simba, okay? You could share a leaf. You got a lot of leaves. Okay. Good, Stella? Everybody knows better than to try to get Stella's catnip. Right, Splash? Sim is looking at it. Happy Mother's Day, Stella. Stella will get lots of spa treatments later. And she'll get to do everything she wants to do today, right? Right, Stella? Today's your day. Do you want breakfast? You guys want to eat breakfast? Stella says she would like a squeeze up. Happy Mother's Day, Stella.
Now Stella gets her favorite pink churu and she's letting Simba have some of the catnip. Stella's favorite flavors are the pink and the purple. Okay, Stella, hold on. I got to get it out of the bottom, okay? Hold on. Let's push it up from the bottom. Good job, Stella. Notice how none of the other cats are trying to eat the churu. It's because they know today is Stella's special day. Good job. I think we're done, Stella. Here, let's try to get more from the bottom. Ready? There you go. Good job. Good job. There you go. Good job. You did it, Stella. It is almost 1 p.m. right now, and there's Boo. He is relaxing by an open window. He's been really happy to be in his room today. And Stella, Splash, and Simba are in my room. Um, so Stella and Simba went into my room, no problem, this morning, but Splash didn't want to go in. So I was like, okay, you don't have to go in, Splash. So I went outside. I was enjoying some sunshine for a while. Then all of a sudden, I heard the doorbell ring. And I was like, that's weird. I'm not really expecting anyone right now. So I looked to see who was there and it appeared to be some solicitations. Um, but what happened was when they rang the doorbell, it scared Splash and he ran into my room. So um, he was happy in my room. So I just shut the door. So the three of them are in my room now. And what just happened, here's Ziggy. So Ziggy was on the other side of the door. She was in the hallway and she was making so much noise. She was meowing and howling and crying. And I was like, what is going on? So I opened the door and she came in and she went under the day sofa. And there's Boo. How you doing, Boo? You're a good boy. And Ziggy's under the day sofa. Maybe she wants to leave. Maybe that's why she came out. So I don't know. Ziggy, you want to leave? I opened the door for her and she could come out if she wants to. But I can't leave the door open because I don't want Richard going in there. Because I really don't want... There he is. You're not going in there. You're not going in there, Richard, because you don't know how to behave around cats. There's Ziggy. She just came out. She's in there for 10 minutes. It's 5.15 p.m. Look at Ziggy. She's all stretched out. Goldie was laying next to her, but then when I walked over, Goldie left. This is Ziggy's favorite afternoon spot. She loves stretching out over here in the sun. It's 7.30 a.m. and look at what's going on here. So this is a brand new toy that I ordered on Amazon. It was part of a set of wand toys for cats. Hey boo, good morning. And I Gave this to the cats, what, a half hour ago? Not even. And look, it's already broken. So this is the wand toy and it was attached to this stick, which is attached to a suction cup, which uh, I have attached to a wall. And this is the toy that was attached to the end of this. And yeah, it's completely broken in less than an hour. And I know Boo is the one that did it because he was the one playing with it. So I just tied it back on. It's on like an elastic string. And uh, I knotted it back on. So we'll see if that lasts. It is 10.45 a.m. And this is Stella. And Stella and Boo are on cat towers in the living room and the dining room. And Simba and Splash are in my room. And all the kittens are on free roam right now and Nancy um, was down here a few minutes ago and she was getting ready to attack Stella so I just gave her a squirt with the spray bottle and she uh, went away and she's in the kitchen now right now 
Richard is in Boo's room with the door shut because he's an issue. And if I could get Nancy um, near Boo's room, I'm going to pick her up and put her in there with Richard, and then that would be fine. If those two were just in Boo's room, then we're good. And here's Boo. So neither Boo nor Stella wanted to go in the bedroom this this morning. So here's Stella. I just picked her up and I put her on my bed because Nancy tried to ambush her again. And I need to get work done today. And I can't be watching both Stella and Boo. So if I'm sitting near Boo, then at least I could keep an eye on him. If anyone tries to ambush him, uh, they're going to get hit with a spray bottle. I just gave Stella her Mother's Day catnip, so she should be happy with that. I'll move it more toward the center of the bed so she doesn't knock it down onto the floor. Zim is looking at it. Here's Boo in his office, which is just a few feet away from me sitting at the dining room table getting work done. And there's Nancy. Boo is just hissing and growling at her. He doesn't trust her. Neither do I. But I'm standing here with a squirt bottle. Now, Richard came over a few times. He got almost as close as where Nancy is now, and Boo growled, and he walked away. But we know Nancy is a little bit more mischievous. Sounds like there's a truck outside. So here's Richard. He settled into this cat tower in the living room. So that's good. And there goes Nancy. If she settles here, then we're fine. Then I could actually get some work done. Look at this. That's Nancy. Boo's growling and hissing. I need to vacuum. It's 11.38 a.m. And Boo is growling again. Because Nancy's back. She's probably around six feet away from Boo. I have my eye on her. She might just be curious about Boo. Which is fine if she just wants to look at him. That's fine. But if she thinks she's going to attack him, then she has another thing coming. Okay, so she's settling into Stella's castle. So Nancy loves laying in Stella's castle and she likes to take naps in Stella's castle. So it's fine if she lays in there, takes a nap, that's fine. Boo just settled down, he wants to take a nap. So if she behaves herself, everything is good. But remember, Nancy is Dennis the Menace. Do you think Dennis the Menace is going to just settle in and everything is fine? So, as I get my work done, I have to have one eye on my computer and another eye on the cats. It's 8.10 a.m. I'm trying to get ready for my day, so I just put some toys on for the cats. Sometimes they don't like playing with them, but sometimes they do. But I find if I put a toy on this round cover that Sharon sent, then the cats are more interested. They love this round cover. For some reason, they think it's like a, a play mat for them. It's 9.43 a.m. All of the cats have been fed. And they're getting a little bit of freeze-dried chicken for dessert. And look at Stella. She's back on this round fabric with one of the toys. The cats downstairs got some playtime this morning. They got some treats. I like to give them treats in the morning so I can just kind of get a head count and make sure everyone's okay. And they all come up to me, eat a treat out of my hand, except for Eva. I have to toss her a treat, but um, it's kind of like a good roundup. And then they had some playtime to kind of use up some energy. Then they all eat their they all eat their food. And is Boo gonna try to steal Simba's plate? Everyone has a good appetite today. It's 11:15 a.m. The kittens are upstairs. 
Stella Boo, Splash, and Simba are in the bedrooms, and I put some toys on for the cats, and they've been playing with them here on this round cover, but of course, the minute I turn the camera on, they decide to leave. <gasps> and I just realized they killed the catnip plant. Oh my gosh. Look what they did to Stella's catnip plant. Oh my gosh. So I left the catnip plant out thinking, okay, maybe they'd like to nibble on it. Nope. They wanted to destroy it. Look what they did to this, this poor plant. It's like, there's like nothing left to it. It's totally mangled. I don't know who did this. I'm going to have to look at the security camera footage and see if it caught anything, but I guess I'm going to have to put this outside to see if it can kind of come back to life a little bit. I feel bad for Stella. I might have to go buy her another one, or actually I'm going to check on the catnip growing in the yard and see if it's gotten bigger. Who did that, Nancy? Did you do that? Who did that? 